On the Properties of Gases lab, Carla and I did this this week, and there were some parts of this that I thought were a little bit hard to follow, so I thought I'd try to explain it as best I could. So this is similar to what's in Figure 1 in your lab, except it's a lot better drawing. But this is my well plate. This is the test tube. In your lab kit, there should be a black rubber stopper, and it has like a plastic, clear plastic thing going through the center. That's the gas collection stopper. And then this is the pipette with the open mouth at the bottom. And you're going to fill this pipette up with water. And before you, before you fill it up and turn it upside down, you're going to put, for example, like the hydrochloric acid goes in here. Then you drop in the pieces of zinc. You're going to go ahead and put that stopper on. And then you put that pipette that is full of water over the top. As the gas bubbles up, it's going to go up in this tube, and that's going to shove the water out. So there's going to be water running down this test tube, and that's why they have you put this in a pie, pin, pie tin or something. Also, they have you use tissue paper, or we use Kleenex or napkins, just to shove down in here to make sure it holds the test tube upright. So down in here is where you're going to be putting that tissue or napkins in order to wedge that in there tight. And it's going to take quite a while for it to generate this whole tube full of hydrogen gas. When it's all full of hydrogen gas, you're going to put your thumb over the end and take it off. And then you're going to light either a match or your lighter. And you're going to take your thumb off the end of that tube while you're holding it sideways and squeeze it. And when you squeeze that pipette, you're going to watch and see what happens to that lit match or your lighter over there. You're going to do the same thing when you do the hydrogen-oxygen gas mixture. Uh, that's the one where you had the pipette and they had you cut it into, well not cut it, but they had you mark it into thirds. And first you filled it up part of the way with hydrogen and then took it off. And then later filled it up the rest of the way with oxygen. When you get that pipette full, you're also going to be holding it sideways and seeing what effect that has on that match that is lit. For the oxygen gas, it's the same kind of collection, except this time they have you put, I believe, hydrogen peroxide down in there with some little pieces of, of magnesium or manganese. And you're still going to use that whole glass pipette, a glass rubber stopper thing with the plastic in it. And they're going to have you use your pipette bulb that's completely filled with water. And again, as the oxygen gas is generated, it's going to go up in the tube and water is going to run down. Now once you have that tube full of oxygen, you'll put your thumb over it and take it off. This time they want you to take a match and blow it out so it's just glowing and insert it into the pipette. That's also the same plan that you're going to do with the carbon dioxide and they want the effect of what happens to that match. Now whenever you're generating the carbon dioxide for the second part of the experiment, this is going to be like figure two in your lab. So this is my well plate. This is still your test tube, but now you're going to use the black rubber stopper that has a little piece of copper on the end and a long tube that can go down in here. So you're going to be generating carbon dioxide. And down in here, this is like the lime water solution that you're putting down in your well plate. And usually they have you adding brome thymol blue whenever you're creating the carbon dioxide. So you're going to create the carbon dioxide gas. It's going to go down in here into the lime water, and that lime water is going to be bubbling. And you're going to look for color changes. This is also the same thing that you do when you have the straw. So the straw would go into the solution that's down in here, and then you would blow on this straw with your mouth and look and see what happens to that lime water solution and the color of the bromophimol blue. So I'm hoping that helps a little bit as far as what they want you to do in the lab.